Good morning, good evening and good afternoon YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Over 50,000 Irish people supposedly left Ireland last year, if I'm not mistaken, and over half of them were between 25 and 44 years old. Now, there's of course a lot more people coming to Ireland, but we're gonna talk about why people are leaving Ireland, and if you stick by the end of this video, you'll find out why I'm leaving. There are actually two videos I, I stumbled upon on YouTube from two different creators, both significantly bigger than me. Talking about why they left Ireland, we won't name names, but we're gonna talk about the reasons they mentioned. Now, some of them are legit if you ask me, but some of them are a little bit on the, I don't know how to say it, but yeah, we're gonna start with the light ones and then build up to some more serious reasons. And she's here. Hi guys, let them all clear off. <laughs> yeah. Good riddance. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to town and we're gonna walk, have a pint, maybe something to eat and talk about reasons why people are leaving Ireland. So the first reason is, I, I thought it's a joke, but apparently she was serious, one of the girls on YouTube. Clothing style is one of the reasons she needs to leave Ireland. She says she cannot wear nice and beautiful things in Ireland because of the weather. She is 25 years old and she's wasting her body under the layers in Ireland. Oh let's, my God. Let's, let's, hear the, let, let's hear the <laughs> Irish reaction. Can we get her IQ, please? <laughs> she's leaving Ireland because of clothes. Well, that's one of the reasons. Oh my god. This is what the world is coming to. It's like, oh, let's leave Ireland because uh, my socks aren't warm enough. That's a because of a horse Beep! I've ever heard in all my life. Whoever you are, I wish you the best of luck in whatever country you're in that you get to wear your pretty clothes. <laughs> it is, it, that's, uh, well, we won't name channels. I don't want to do that, but yeah, that was one of the reasons. In, uh... I'm getting your channel name and I'm writing to this woman as a full 100% Irish born raised. <laughs> I should probably mention both channels and videos I watched from other creators about this topic. Both of them are foreigners just as I am. So I will agree with some points, with some I won't. Like this one, this is just, I don't know, for me as a, as a male, I think it's ridiculous. We were talking about clothing here, remember, last week. Himself and I were talking about the Irish fashion. I think like, okay, our weather is wet, blah, blah, blah. But we have some lovely days where you can wear that stupid dress. You go, I have a dress on now. <laughs> So you certainly can wear nice things. You just probably can't wear sandals and like a sundress when it's raining. But we still have nice clothes. And I feel really offended by this. <laughs> I love my Wellingtons, sir or madam. Let's go. Moving on, point number two. Apparently, there is nothing to do in Ireland. And apparently Irish people are complaining on TikTok and Twitter and everywhere that there's nothing to do here. There's, there's lack of new experiences. And she also said that nature is all the same and boring. This is what social media has done to people. Their whole lives are so filtered. They assume that everywhere they go it has to be like all this TikTok shit. <laughs> wow. It's like nature looks all the same. It's like, ooh, it's a tree. That's a tree. Trees are the same. Okay, well, I'm going to find these channels and I'm going to watch these because, my God, I just, too much watching freaking Filtered TV and TikToks and all that rubbish has completely melted their brains. The lack of new experiences. Well, I like the experience of a bar and tea. And yes, if you want to go out surfing in Donegal, if you want to go hiking, we've got the mountains. If you want to go shopping, we have all major cities. So I don't know what that idiot is talking about, but obviously she needs to come back, make a new video and talk about my country in a more positive manner. So I can't get over this. this twat visited an island. We are an island. In her little mind it may seem, or his little mind, it may seem like it's all the same, but it is clearly not. So I'm very annoyed by that comment. My god, woman. Learn geography. And this is not hangry, you know, hungry and angry. This is angry that someone would be so stupid to put something. If I ever put something stupid on our channel, please guys correct me. Well, you mentioned hungry. Uh, one of the points uh, or reasons to leave was also food. <gasps> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done with this. Look, I'm going to the arts festival and we're going to get some tasty food. What type of horse rubbish is this? We have Michelin stars here. We have top chefs. I actually agree with, uh, with Lorraine on this one. I've heard that many times, especially in our comments sometimes also. People say that uh, the only thing more boring than uh, Ireland is Irish food, which is a complete 
bullshit if you ask me. I love Irish food, I love butter, I love like their steaks, all dairy products are great, seafood chowders, it's just tasty, I don't know what people are talking about. A cheese toasty with delicious Irish cheese, especially Dubliners or Canadian cheese. I don't agree with this one either, but let's uh, let's move on to some more uh, more serious reasons. I need to say one thing. This is like me saying I don't like Croatia because there's too much barbecues, there's too much rakia, or there's too much mosquitoes. This is the biggest horse poop I've ever heard in all my life. Every country is beautiful, and I would never ever say a negative thing about any country. Well, there will be things I may not love, but oh no, actually I may not like. On a more serious note, some of the reasons they mentioned in their videos are logical. Cost of living in Ireland and cost of living for students. Apparently Ireland is now the country with the highest student fees in Europe. So it must be hard, I'm not a student and I don't know, but yeah, I don't know. Do you know any students? I do. And he is so right in wealth. Um, I have a few uh, studentos in my job at the moment and they will be going back in September. And a few of them, uh, their parents are quite well off financially. So they will not get any grants and um, they will get cost of uh, maybe 500 euros as like a cost for like college and stuff but in general it is quite expensive to go to college here you're looking about maybe five to ten thousand a year if you were actually from Ireland. We did make few videos about cost of living here there's a whole playlist actually called Budget Ireland so you can go and watch that but yeah I think that's a valid reason in, to leave or to come to any country so yeah points up for that, they got one, right? I'm not dwelling on the negative. Which leads us to the next and the big one, housing crisis. We actually had a subscriber say, well ask, why isn't there much places where you can have mobile homes and caravan, you know, like sites and stuff? And I think that actually would be a fairly decent idea. And I don't really know why Ireland doesn't have, a, you know, like a site for people with mobile homes and, and caravans so that they could live there. I suppose you can live in these things permanently because people do live in these things permanently and it actually makes me think like I would actually be happy to live in somewhere like that but I'm assuming for those that are looking for accommodation like I have a little friend that is going to Limerick and she's starting college and she has nowhere to live so she has to drive from Galway to Limerick every day for school because she can't find somewhere to live so that is pretty crap. We did talk about this on a channel in several occasions already. I will link that video somewhere below too, but yeah, it is a real problem. Especially like even if you find something, it is more more than likely that it will be crap. It will be moldy or it will be, I don't know, roof leaking or just extortionate because the prices are just, I don't know, insane currently. It is a problem. It was a, I was warned that it was a problem five years ago when I was coming but it is much, much worse now. It's so bad that it makes me want to go back here and get a hot chocolate. Okay. Let's get a hot chocolate. Well, we're getting a hot chocolate, apparently. Guys, I hope you liked uh, this week's movie. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, still give it a thumbs up. And I hope that you would subscribe and check in with us on a weekly. We're here every Sunday. We also have a Patreon. For a simple three euro each month, you get to get us a coffee, a beer, and we'll accumulate. All those three euros will go towards buying us a van. So join our Patreon, Art. Would you move out of our country just because of the climate? Actually, I think you would. You would, because I don't think she she hates in Croatia because it's too hot. So you would leave if it's too hot. So why not leave if it's too wet for you? I like it here because it's cold. Well, it's not cold all year, but you know what I mean. But if it got like really hot here during the summertime for long periods of time, I don't think I would feel comfortable here anymore, which would be sad because I love it here so much. Oh my God, now I'm thinking this. Now I'm, I'm worried about world climate. Is Ireland going to get hot? I don't know. I can't. I think that's a stupid reason. Actually, no, because I, I, I always say I could live in, in Croatia full time because it's so hot for months on end. I agree with the author of this reason. I get it. I get it how it can be depressing for some people. I get how some countries can be too hot for some people. The same way Ireland is just too wet for someone. I don't know. I'm, I'm fine with it. I like it. I feel so comfy when it's, I don't know, pissing rain outside. I, I, every movie is better when it's raining outside. Every game on PS5 is better when it's raining outside. I don't know why, but I like that feeling. It's so yeah. cozy, the blanket and snacks and then the rain is, and even nighttime when you're sleeping. It's so therapeutic. Yeah, but that being said, yeah, I get it. I get that.
moving on. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for this whole, I don't know how many minutes, why I am leaving Ireland. Now first, to be perfectly clear, I am coming back three months from now. So yeah, that was a clickbait. I am a YouTuber. I do it every year. I am one of those persons who, who cannot bring myself to work 11 months in a year to have like three weeks off. I just, I can't do that. I don't think that's a life anyone should have and I'm not having it. So every summer I leave for two to three months and go traveling. This time, some of you already know, Ginger Lady and me are going to India and from India we're going to Vietnam. There will be a lot of videos from Asia. Before that, I am leaving to Croatia next week. I'm gonna spend six, seven weeks in my hometown. I'm gonna spend touring Croatia a little bit, go to the Croatian coast, show you the Adriatic Sea. What does she think about me leaving for three months? Well, let's hear it from her. Since we met, I've always been excited about him going home. And actually, I think I'm more excited about him. I've been talking about it all week. It's Tuesday, you're gonna be heading off. Yay! Anyways, I think it's, it's great. I think it's important why he is spending time with his friends and family, I'm spending time with my friends and family, and then I go to visit him because I have my holidays, of course, and then we have India and Vietnam this year. So I think it's an important thing in a relationship in order to bring you closer, you need a little bit of distance, you know, a little bit of free time. And yeah, so I will always be like that. And eventually I hope that we will go traveling full time together if this YouTube thing works out for us, and I hope it does, so fingers crossed. Um, so I have a little bit of a plan, um, so next week I'm going to visit my brother in Wicklow and I hope to go maybe to see, we have uh, the Arts Festival here this week so I'm thinking I might go to see something, maybe the Saw Doctors or something. Um, I have a play booked in with me and my friends and just a few little things, you know, nothing big, nothing major yet. And then I'm going to visit uh, himself in September, is it? Yes, I think so, something around that time anyways, but yeah. We'll still have videos, we'll still be popping them out every week. So make sure you tune in and if you're a new person, hi, welcome to the channel. Now when you heard all of that, some of the, I don't know, more serious reasons, some less serious, please comment section tell me, do you know anyone who left and why did they leave? Leave, leave, leave. English language people, English language. Not my first language. Well, I actually got a comment that I need to improve my English. So if you like this video, press the like button. If you didn't, press the dislike button. If you loved it, subscribe. If you really loved it, check our Patreon. Help us out in our dream of becoming full-time YouTubers because we would really, really like that. But yeah, in any case, in comment section, tell us what you think about people leaving Ireland, Irish people leaving Ireland and their reasons to do so. Firstly, that comment that said himself needs to learn English that comment was wrote so poorly. His grammar, he needs to go back to school himself. He should not comment on someone else's English. You wanna talk more about mean comments that annoy you? Oh my God, people can be so mean and they say the most harshest things. That's just not called for. There's no need to be mean in this world. There's enough meanies out there. So be kind to one another, guys. That's all I need to say about that. And anyone that says anything negative about our Ireland, we're not friends and don't watch this video. <laughs> You know, we made videos about that they're negative. I don't. I, they're not negative. <laughs> they're not negative. We're just maybe bringing up a few little shaky things, but we're not going to say they're negative. And the best hot chocolate I've ever had in my life today. And on that note, we're going to say our goodbyes. And um, I'm, I'm glad you're here, guys. And thank you so much for all the support um, and all our Patreons and all the subscribers. You're very kind. And thank you for all the loving comments that you always send. Thumbs up, guys. Tune in next time, folks. Let's grab our stuff, do our usual swing. Let's go get a beer and a cheek. Yeah. Oh, no matter what I see, I still hear the call.